Good morning. It is a beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous out. And it's going to be a good one at work too. <laughs> can't believe it this is day 10 of summer school and uh, we only have two left a week from today final exam and I've got a little bit of grading to do and it's officially summer break holy smokes it goes really fast Getting ready to post another post. All right, now, quick class prep, and then I'm finally gonna do my best to get to the bottom of my email. All right, I am ready for class. It is 10 a.m. Time to get to some of this other stuff I've been promising people I'd do. And I got called into a meeting. <laughs> it's been eight whole minutes. I almost finished answering the first email. This is why I like working from home. Principles, engineering science and mathematics. So I divide this project into five tasks. Number one is to able to sketch. This is like a sketch of free body code. You have to start with that. Mm -hmm. And show all the variables. It works, right? Yeah. Newton times mu per second is what? Uh -huh. But not pounds, mass per hour do not get you to horsepower. <laughs> there are many conversion vectors involved. What <laughs> do need to do with this? So, did you, so I did have... You, did you, you have the copies. A copy. You got physical copies. Right. Did you just give them to him? And then whenever you want to oh, do I have this, this a PDF. You had them. Oh, you you sent me a PDF. PDF right. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm a little behind on my email. So, Ten projects. There's no just before next fall. <laughs> I want both of you to individually assess each copy and then give just hand it to me. That's okay. All. That's what I'm looking for. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And how many of these do I have? Like ten. Ten. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Ten. We have thirty students. That should be. That's enough. Nice. Twelve minutes in and out. Whew, put a pretty big dent in that. Got back to some folks uh, wandering over to ask a question to something I don't know the answer to. Keep plugging away. All right, so a bunch of emails answered. Now it's lunchtime. We've got a lunch meeting, so that'll be fun. Um, and then more email. I'm going to finish these things today. Lunch meeting's done. Back to the email grind. Oh, Snapchat. How are you today? I'm good. Happy Friday. No, happy Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. It's Friday, Thursday. Junior. Yeah, yeah. Friday late. Friday Eve. Well, Friday Eve. That's cool next year. Yeah. And I need to know how to do with the GRE. Oh, the GRE. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. You take SATs? No. Okay, so you don't have anything to compare this to. It's easier to. than... Uh, I, I, that's what I heard. It's easier than SAT. Yeah, probably because it's basically just the SAT again, except mm -hmm. you're... English. more educated uh, <laughs> right the math concept yeah i mean it's things like how big is this circle that fits inside of a triangle oh yeah geometry yeah it's things mm -hmm. like that um the prep courses and stuff that you can get online are really good for free mostly i think what i did was i bought a book mm -hmm. it was like this thick but half of it was practice examples and they had uh they had a DVD that came with it that mm -hmm. was a bunch of interactive practice exams that were just like the computerized test. It was like 30 bucks or something. I mean, yeah. I think it's 100 bucks. I, would, I wouldn't have paid that. Yeah. I know I wouldn't have paid that. <laughs> Get an old one. Get a used one. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Go yeah. to Amazon or rent it for free. Oh, rent, yeah. Yeah, rent yeah. it for free. Yeah. 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 Where? For instance. Okay. Japan. Why? Ivy League school. Why? Why? Good to plug on. Define good. Yeah. Define good? Yeah. I work a lot. Yeah, but what actually makes those better programs than, say, Penn State? I didn't work at Penn State. Okay. So I can compare. Okay. All I'm saying is be careful not to just chase brands. No, it's not about that. I was okay. looking at curriculum. Grad school is really different. Mm -hmm. Really different than undergrad. 
the thing is, uh-huh. it um, it really comes down to the professor you're working with and the research you're doing. I like to do it's classes. not the non thesis. Mm. Ah, just masters. Mm-hmm. Well, then you should shop for the program you want, I'm not the school for you want. Entrepreneurship, engineering. Entrepreneurship and engineering. Yeah, or more design and fashion. And so the schools that you're looking at have that. Yeah. Okay. That's why. So when you when you go to take classes in Wharton School and you mm-hmm. take classes in engineering and okay. you do I printing, see. CNC, and that stuff. So that's important then. You want to shop for a program that that has a certain topic. That's that's a little different story. Yeah. But even there, I will say there's very very little correlation between a school's rank and the success of its graduates say this though mm-hmm. even for a non-thesis masters the story is the same you need relationships and then you're automatically in network you mean without any requirements just you find a school you like mm-hmm. pick three professors email make them. friends with them on linkedin mm-hmm. email them and but don't just hi help me out mm-hmm. go read some of their papers and then send them a little note saying hey this is really interesting i'm thinking of like Eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, okay. th- everybody writes in English. Send them, send them a letter that says this is. No, really... I mean in their language of the research, like. In oh their yeah, yeah, yeah. Their terminology. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, an, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Because what happens is, when somebody likes you, mm-hmm. they walk down the hall and say, "Let that one in." Immediately. Yeah, because you're gonna you take the cherries this fall, do the applications and mm-hmm. things like that. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and start prepping for it. From now. Yeah. Sure. Next week. Yeah, you're not stressed, right? Yeah. Now's a good time to do it. Soak yeah. it all in. Because what, what what you need to do is you need to satisfy minimum requirements. Mm-hmm. Anywhere you can excel, you want to excel. And then you want to go form relationships with the people you really want to work with. Because even a non-thesis master's, you're going to have to have an advisor. True. Right? Yeah. And even a non-thesis master's, you still have some sort of a little capstone project. You always do. And it's usually working for the advisor. Mm-hmm. And so you could go shop for the projects they're working on and then start forming relationships with them so that you can join their club. Right. I've heard two different things from non-native speakers mm-hmm. when it comes to the English part of the GRE. Half of them said it's hard because they didn't have a wide vocabulary. The other half of them said it was easy because they know English better than I do. Right? I don't really remember I don't know the rules of English. I just know when something feels wrong. Yeah. Right. You actually have to study the rules if it's a second language. And so a lot of times people who have learned it a second language actually do very well because they actually know the grammar rules right. that the thing's testing you on. That's true. Yeah. No. I mean, if you Google it, you'll find a million of them. They're yeah. all the same. I don't think any one of them is better than another. Mm-hmm. I know what I did was I went and I bought a study book and that study book came with a DVD. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure I got the whole thing used. How many hours do you study in a day? Not very much. No, Not very much for me. And honestly, I should have. The difference between my math and English scores was dramatic. Which one's high at math, huh? <laughs> yeah, I did very well on math, and I, I, I almost scored in the needs remediation category yeah. for English just because I didn't prep it, you know? And I forget those types of words a lot. Yeah. You don't use them. You don't need luck. Study yeah. for it. It's a yeah. test. You've been yeah. studying and taking tests for a while. Don't worry about it. But I'm telling you now, relationships matter more. Mm-hmm. The scores have to satisfy the minimum requirement. Beyond that, you're either going to get in because your scores are so outstanding that they blow everybody else out of the water. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's you. Or you're going to get in because you have people rooting for you. And so you want to demonstrate that you're already a member of their club mm-hmm. by engaging in conversations read some of their articles, make a little comment. You know, you can stroke some big egos by sharing a link. Find a paper somebody wrote, share it on LinkedIn because it's cool, mm. tag them in it on LinkedIn. That's a really quick way to get a conversation That's with somebody. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <I'll do this. laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Left everything upstairs for class. Just walked downstairs with an empty backpack. So that's really useful. <laughs> All right, who'd you blog about? All right, so I blogged about Edgar Allan Poe, J.K. Rowling, uh, Isaac Newton, and Einstein. And which blog? Oh. <laughs>
Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, they were able to see the bigger picture at first and then boil all their stuff down into one, let's say, equation that they're trying to solve or how to write the book. Um, that is so cool. But they were able to start with one thing and draw lines and connect the dots. Yeah. So I started thinking, let's say we wanted to start at, let's, fi- let's go to another planet. And then, well, what would we need to do to get there? Well, we need a rocket. All right, well, what do we need for a rocket? We need a fuselage, fuel. All right, well, what do we need for those? And just boil it down and down and down into what we don't know. And if we can figure out what we don't know and just delegate, like, delegate the entire series before she started writing. Yeah, and you know she got turned down by I think it was I think it was seven or twelve publishers before one signed it no for kidding. Harry Potter. Yeah. No kidding. Imagine turning that down. Oh my god. That's almost as bad as being a Dell's ex boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, every yes. one of her albums is like a breakup hit, and it's his fault. That idiot. <laughs> swear that I think I can trace everything in my professional life back to just having committed to once a week writing a post. All of it. This job, everything that I do now that you're looking at and saying I'm so busy all the time, all of that came from one day I said, you know what, I'm just going to write a post a week and see what happens. And then I got excited, and I got some positive feedback, and that turned into two posts a week because it was like a good drug. And then ideas started happening, and then that turns into a bigger website or a video in the morning or whatever. All of it was just me test driving some thoughts and trying to find somebody who cared about the weird crap I was thinking about. To have a conversation. That's neat. And you just you develop as a thinker, but I think there's something really important to doing it publicly. Like, not just test driving ideas in a journal. I think there's something to doing it in public instead of in a journal. I'm not sure why, but I think that's important. All right, I know I said I'd get all of my email done. I didn't. There's a lot of it. Stop sending me email. <laughs> Every time I come up with a system that works for me to like stay on top of that thing, then I just get more of them. And somehow people figure out ways to insert more and more to-do items into my life via email. I feel like it's a waiting game though. If I wait long enough to reply, maybe they won't ask. It's one version of work-life balance. Now, the truth is, I get to the things in the order in which, not just important, but also timeliness. Like, some things, it doesn't matter whether it happens this month or next. Other things, pretty much has to be today. So if you're waiting on a response from me, it'll come eventually. <laughs> yeah. You know, I had a little bit of an epiphany today. For years, I've been hearing people say things like, oh, just do what you love and your whole life will come together. Do what you love, follow your dream, follow your passion. And I always felt so frustrated by that. I love hanging out with my family and I love rock climbing. You gonna pay me for that? (laughs) I finally figured out what it means today. Do what you love doesn't mean take your favorite hobby and figure out some way to get paid for it. Do what you love means find a cause to work on that matters so much to you that you love it. Find a place to work that's working on some project that matters to you so much that whether the individual task you have to do or not is fun, you are 
bought in, heart and soul, to something that speaks to you, something that matters to you. You can be an engineer anywhere. Be an engineer somewhere that matters to you. You could be a writer anywhere. Be a writer somewhere that matters to you. You could be a teacher anywhere. Teach somewhere that matters to you. Following your dreams isn't about monetizing your hobby, finding out some way of getting paid to do the thing that you do when you're playing. It's about finding something that matters so much that you do it for free, but you never tell your boss that. Honey, I'm home! So what'd you do on the website? <laughs> <laughs> so I tried a different theme out because I wasn't thrilled with the one that we had already, and yeah. I tried to do like a little under construction introduction so that people would recognize that I'm still working on the website. What's up, dude? In between Luke screaming and yelling. Uh, but this new theme includes all the pages we created, so you're going to have to go and kind of like, de-link some of the random ones. It says, about us, this is a great place to talk about yourself. <laughs> Still has some of the templates. Um, but some of them have links to the YouTube channel and things like that. Um, but I'm just kind of messing, yeah. messing with it, so it's a little funky at the moment. Thanks, babe. High five for Intentional Academy. That was super lame. What did you say to me? <laughs> now can I get dressed? I love you. I love you too. Luco! Toss it! Toss it! Wow! Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Luke's time for bed. Nicole's out for girls' night. And I am going to help a recent graduate set up his budget so that he can crush his student loans. Yeah. Whew. It was two hours, but it was really well spent, man. We just, you know, we caught up in life and talked about goals and all that kind of stuff. But, man, I'll tell you what. We got a plan put together. This guy is going to crush some student loans, be on top of his money. And, I mean, sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. Um, hey, thanks for taking so much time to talk with me. Uh, really flattered and um, yeah I just believe I believe in you man